It's Friday morning, 7 a.m. And here I am, Lesser Street, a little bit drizzly, getting ready for the rain that's installed for us this weekend. But this week marks four months since the flood. So let's dive into these news updates. So kicking things off today, this week we've had Janelle Safin, Steve Krieg and Kevin Hogan call once again to the government in assisting anchor businesses like Norco here in Lismore get back on their feet. There are more than 240 employees, dairy farmers and small businesses that actually rely on an essential business like Norco. Money is needed right now, but like most things during this recovery process, there's just no sense of urgency. Even though workers could be stood down in just a matter of weeks, Norco is undoubtedly an important part of Lismore and whether it's a rebuild or a relocation, something needs to be done right now. And also along with other anchor businesses in Lismore, like Summerland Credit Union, Mountain Blue Blueberry Farms, and also Sunshine Sugar Farm. And if we do not see that money come to town soon, things aren't going to be looking too good. And in more news, the legends here at the Trees Not Bombs Cafe have closed their doors after providing such incredible support for the community since the floods hit. I am talking above and beyond. Free food, beverages, and a loving space for this entire bloody time, which is just crazy to think because these legends didn't receive any kind of official funding. Just a bunch of legends who sat up under this big whopper right here, and with over a hundred volunteers helping out over that time, the Trees Not Bombs Cafe has been cemented into Lismore's history. And just to also give a massive shout out to the Koori Kitchen here, who continue to feed the community. So please, if you can donate anything, you'll be putting food in people's mouths. Here I am with Ross that works with the Koori Kitchen, mate. What, how many meals are you guys up to now? So far, we've pushed out into the community for free 164,000 meals. That's not including the coffees that have gone through here. The coffee lady has lost her business, but she's been here every day supplying free coffee to the homeless, the flood affected, and also the volunteers. It's, it's been an amazing effort by everybody here at the Koori Mail. We don't only supply Lismore, we supply all the outstations, Cabbage Tree Island, Bungawalgan, Wardell, Casino, Korokai. I've been on the ground since day one. Uh, my background is in emergency services. After losing everything in my life, uh, I decided to come down here and help. And I've been here every day since. We're, we're not only supplying the, the Koori community, we're supplying the whole community. Any of our overflow goes to the other hubs. If we've got an excess of something, I'll take it down or someone will take it down to the other hubs for just distribution to make sure that the whole community is looked after. Thank you so much for chatting with us today, brother. That's all right. You're a legend. And in more news, the Lismore Service Centre here on Conway Street has reopened where you can access government services like Medicare, Centrelink, uh, NDIS support. There's apparently been some tech technical issues in house uh, since opening. So just remember patience in these times helps all of us guys. And FYI, flood recovery support payments have been extended until the 31st of December. We've got a new cafe on the block. Dark Horse Espresso are open. Look how incredible this is. Wow. Look at these legends, supporting local. <laughs> Check this out. It's Brendan himself. Look at this, bro. This is incredible. You move fast. This is my baby. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Get down and support the Dark Horse Cafe today. Such a beautiful spot. Good on you guys. And we also had Paris in the Strand have their grand opening last night. Julia is all about the best evening wear, formal dresses and tailor-made dresses. So come down and see Paris in the Strand. And we've also got Mel's Melting Moments getting back up and open. What a layout. Come down and get the best candles money can buy. And calling all Northern Rivers hospitality extraordinaires. The Garden Plate are looking at opening back up and need staff ASAP. Such a great opportunity to come and work with an awesome team in a beautiful space. And more exciting news this week, as a cornerstone cafe in Lismore has reopened with such an amazing response. The Bank Cafe are back and absolutely pumping. I quickly got the chance to run in and say g'day. Here, have a look. Here we are at the Bank Cafe. These guys are back open. Look at this. How nice.
He's a legend. What's up, brother? Unsolicited filming today. So bloody good to see. And if you missed it, we had our lantern parade here over the weekend. So if you missed that one, go and check out that video. And also just quickly, due to the wet weather that's predicted this weekend, the Lismore car boot market is cancelled. But the next one will be Sunday, the 17th of July. And I just wanted to finish on today how valuable I think it is we keep the discussion going with these land swaps and buyback options. In recent discussions, there was a push for council to lobby for the new reconstruction corporation and the government to prioritise these land swaps and buyback options, but was unfortunately voted against by the local council. However, at the end of the day, the final decision lays with the Northern Rivers Reconstruction Corporation and we need to remember that uh, discussion goes a long way. So let's keep doing so. Anyway, that's it for today. If you find these videos valuable, please help a brother out on my Patreon. But until next time, keep it real and give your mum a hug for me.